It's often possible to summarize a data set using more than one chart type. If you want, you can change a pivot chart's chart type to communicate data more effectively. I'll demonstrate how to do that in this movie. My sample file is type 0606, and you can find it in the Chapter 6 folder of the Exercise Files collection. In this workbook, I have a single pivot chart with an associated pivot table, and I have a column chart. But let's say that I want to change its type, perhaps, to a pie chart. To do that, I can click the chart, and then on the Design Contextual tab, I can click Change Chart Type. And here, you see that I have the available chart types. All of them are here, the ones that I can use and the ones that I can't. So I currently have a column chart. I could change to another subset or another type of column chart. Or in this case, I could go to a pie chart, click that, and I'll just stay with the basic pie, click OK, and I have changed my chart's chart type. Now you can see that there are quite a few different chart types available to you. What are the ones that you can use with a pivot chart? Well, you can use a column chart. You can also use a line chart, a pie chart. You can also use a bar chart, which is just a horizontal column chart, really. Then you can use a surface chart and a radar chart. Surface charts and radar charts are most often used for scientific data. For example, radar charts are terrific for analyzing multidimensional survey data. So those are the ones that you can use. The ones that you can't are, well, basically the rest of them, but I'll name them. And those are XY scatter, stock, bubble, tree map, sunburst, histogram, box, and whisker, waterfall, and funnel charts. You also cannot use map charts. The reason is that those other charts are a little bit too finicky for a pivot chart, and there's no easy way to determine how the data should move. So they're excluded from pivot charts. After you have selected the pivot chart type that you want, and as we've done here with pi, let's say that we'll switch it back to column, click OK, and you're done. Selecting the best pivot chart chart type to summarize your data will add clarity to your presentations. Take the time to study the type of data you're analyzing and use that information to select the most appropriate chart type you can.